The purpose of this mission of the OECD Development Centre to the Dominican Republic is to launch the report, the multidimensional country review of the Dominican Republic that we have been working since 2019 with the Ministry of, of Economy, Planning and Development and the European Union and we are proudly presenting the, the, the report here today. The development of technology and green energy in the Dominican Republic has been going in the right direction. But what we see and what we, we demonstrate in the report is that there is room for improvement and with the right policies and with the right uh, tools that we hope uh, to provide with this, with this work, uh, we can do even better. But I can say that there are endless opportunities, especially when it comes to the green transition. Uh, we see uh, that uh, we can create new jobs uh, that are, uh, have not been, been uh, created before. Uh, and I'm sure that the Dominican uh, Republic will take advantage of that, those, opportunities, those opportunities and developments. The challenges of the Dominican Republic after the pandemic are very similar to the challenges of the whole world. Uh, most all countries have had to extend their ex expenditures in order to, to safeguard their population during the, the pandemic. And that is something that the, that the uh, Dominican Republic has been doing as well. So the challenge is uh, now to uh, keep advancing the, the quality of life and the well-being of its people with more limited resources than before the pandemic. So the objective is to, to find ways to, to increase tax revenues and, and investments and that is something that uh, can be done by providing and, and creating more quality jobs and, and reduce informality which is uh, the two of the three main policy recommendation areas that we are dealing with in the report. The outlook for the Dominican Republic following uh, the work that we've been doing uh, in this report is good in my opinion. Uh, we have seen the resilience and the advancement that the Dominican Republic has gone through for the last 20 years or so. So we see ahead uh, bright times, although there are challenges that need to be, need to be uh, worked on, we have now identified them. Uh, we have policy recommendations, we have a toolbox, uh, and I am sure that, that with uh, good cooperation, uh, with dedication that I see with the commitment of the Dominican uh, authorities to this work, uh, I would say that the outlook for the Dominican Republic is very good. What I think is most important and, and what we have learned during this process is the potential and the opportunities that lie within the society. You have, uh, the, the, here we have a population that uh, has the opportunity to take advancements uh, with increased education, with increased skilling, with increased um, tools to be able to take the country to the next level. And I, am, I have been very impressed with the, with the Dominican population and this work has only confirmed uh, my, my belief that, that given the right uh, instruments and given the right tools, uh, there, is, there, there are bright times ahead.